What's going on guys, Kevin here or the Sports Geek. And in today's video, I'm gonna do a couple picks for the Bridgestone Invitational, just looking at my Sports Geek model. So this is a pro model on Fantasy Labs. Uh, if you guys have an account with Fantasy Labs, you can find the Sports Geek model and uh, check it out for yourself. But here I've got a couple picks, just going over my thoughts uh, for the week. So you can see here, the top rated player in my model is Dustin Johnson. Uh, by a couple points here over the next guy. Uh, but he'll be a popular pick coming off the U.S. Open win. And he's pretty expensive. So I think uh, for the most part, I might be fading him. Uh, with the top rated player in my top rated golfer in my model, I usually uh, will play them maybe at least in one lineup just because they're the top rated. But if I think they're going to be pretty highly owned or if they're uh, overpriced maybe, then I might fade them. So this is a week where I'll probably be looking to fade Dustin Johnson. Uh, could come back to bite me, but if you look at his course history here, not too bad, but uh, nothing great over the last couple of years. He uh, didn't play in 2014, but his past two times, uh, 33rd and 53rd. So this is a no cut event, and there's less golfers in the field, so those uh, those places aren't that uh, aren't that uh, special. Uh, 33rd isn't that great in a normal tournament. It might be looked at as decent, but here uh, it's not too good. Uh, moving down, Brooks Kepka. That's going to be my first pick. He's 9,900 uh, this week, and he's the second rated player in the model here. So he's got a good price compared to, uh, you can see the people below him. We've got a, a number of players in the five figure range below him. So I think he's a good price this week. He might be popular just because of the little bit of the discount you're getting. Uh, let's take a look at his game logs. You can see he had two second place finishes, 13th at the US Open. Uh, and he's also played here once last year and finished six. So I think he'll be a popular play, but uh, definitely someone I'll be playing this week quite a bit. Jason Day, Jordan Spieth, two great players. Uh, They're both priced pretty high. I think I'll be skipping both of them. I think Day will be uh, pretty highly owned. He's one of the best golfers in the world right now, if not the best. And uh, he's priced that way. And uh, he is ranking high in the model, but just because of his price and because I think he'll be pretty highly owned, I think I'll most likely pass on him this week. Um, if I'm doing maybe 10 lineups, I might have him in one, but uh, overall, I think I'll pretty much pass on him and Spieth and I'll move down a bit cheaper. So we're going uh, $2,000 less than day here. Bubba Watson at 10,100. Looking at his recent form, uh, you can see he's not playing too great lately. Uh, U.S. Open, he finished 51st. He had a 65th and a 43rd. Uh, he finished eighth overseas. And then the Masters, 37th. Um, World match play, 17th. But then he had a win back in February and a second back in March. So he's having a decent season overall. Not playing great lately. Uh, but I think this is a course that could fit his game. You can see last year he finished second here. Uh, that's pretty much the only real good finish he's had here, but uh, it was last year. So I think he's played this course quite a bit. looks like six times. And uh, I think he'll be a solid play this week. And I think he'll be low owned. So it, that's another reason why I really like him this week for my GPP lineups. Uh, Jason Duffner, I think I'll have him in some lineups. Very good price. He's rating um, sixth in the model here at 85. And he's only 8,500. So I think I'll have him in some lineups. I'm not going to have too much exposure. I think he'll be very highly owned as well, just because of how cheap he is. Uh, Adam Scott, another golfer, has been playing great this year. Uh, he's ranking pretty highly in my model, but I think I would rather go with someone like uh, Bubba Watson or one of these four guys that are ranking above him. So I don't think I'll have much Scott this week. Uh, and then moving down to my final pick here for the video, Matt Kuchar at 9,800. He has amazing course history here, so I think that will uh, bring his ownership up a bit. You can see he's had top uh, two top 10 finishes, a 12th and 19th. Uh, last year, he finished 25th. So he's had a really good success here. His worst finish was a 27th. Again, it's a smaller field event, but uh, it's still a pretty solid result. And he's had uh, a lot of experience at this course playing six times. And he's been playing really great golf uh, recently. Besides the U.S. Open, where he struggled a bit, finishing 46th. Uh, he had four straight top six finishes. So his worst finish in his last uh, four tournaments before the U S open was sixth place. So he's been playing great golf. Uh, we're still getting him at a pretty solid price. 9,800. He still hasn't reached that five figure mark and, uh, he's rank ranking pretty high on my sports geek model. So he'll be my third pick. And then you can take a look at some other players just below him that I'll probably be throwing in my lineups. We have, uh, Byung Hun on Charlie Hoffman, uh, Shane Lowry, JB Holmes, Harris English. Uh, those guys are all cheap. So they're going to, uh, allow you to spend up on some of these higher price players. So I'll probably have 
most of these guys in my lineups as well. You'll probably see me have most of them uh, at least a couple times throughout my lineups to get a bit of salary relief. But it's going to be an interesting week if we look at the salary as well. Uh, with the shorter field, there's not too many cheap, real cheap guys in the fives and sixes. Uh, there's a couple that I'll be looking at. You can see the dark green here. Jimmy Walker's got a good rating at 6,900. Um, but overall, yeah, 62, uh, 6,300 for Andrew Johnston. He's ranked 62. He's got a rating of 62 here. So overall, there's not too many really cheap guys that I like. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how I build my lineups. I haven't started building my lineups at all. Uh, but those are the three guys I like there quite a bit. Matt Kuchar, Brooks Kepka, and Bubba Watson. So head into your Fantasy Labs account, go to the Sports Geek Pro model, copy it over to your own, and uh, take a look at it when you're building your lineups this week. All right. As always, guys, good luck with your contest. Hope you win some money this week. Cheers.